G'day East Frottlers. Now, if you have been on social media today, and if you're a Harley Davidson fan, you would already know, because everyone has been sharing the photos, that the soft tail standard has been announced today from Harley Davidson. It's February 25 today, and everyone got notified that it's coming out, no time frame as to when it's coming to Australia, but it's exciting. So stick around after the intro and I'll tell you what I know about the soft tail standard. Alright team, I've got my email from Harley Davidson and I wanted to share with you some of the information that I know about the soft tail standard coming out just so you can be a little bit ahead of the game when it comes to planning whether you want to purchase, wait and purchase this bike or get something that's already on the market. So the soft tail standard is only going to come in black. Remember this is a blank canvas. This is the bike that you'll buy if you want to create your own monster out of it. So coming only in black, it's got a 13.2 litre fuel tank and it is running the Milwaukee 8 107 cubic inch engine. So um, a tried and true engine, the whole soft tail range except for one is running the Milwaukee 8 107 and, uh, and I believe from all reports the 107 is going really well. Now, the mufflers are going to have a 2 into 2 offset shotgun exhaust uh, to enhance the sound. And obviously, we all know factory exhaust is probably going to be pretty quiet. It's probably something you'll replace with your chosen exhaust anyway. Now, it's going to have steel rims and it's going to have a 19 inch front wheel and a 16 inch rear wheel. So essentially, they're trying to create that real classic style Harley Davidson almost bobber chopper feel, fists in the air. And uh, I think, in my mind, when I think of Harley Davidson, although I own a Street Glide, I always picture this style of bike when I picture Harley Davidson. So I reckon it'll be a really good seller. Now, if you're on a budget, this is your entry level big twin. This is your affordable way to jump on a Milwaukee 8 107. Um, but if you want to customise it, this is your blank canvas to turn it into absolutely anything you want. Now the pricing, <clears throat> obviously this is initial pricing so it will probably change from dealer to dealer. But they're suggesting at this stage $21,495 Australian dollars for the soft tail standard. Now if you'd like more details about this, I just recommend you go to your local Harley dealer and let them tell you what it's going to cost you to get and the time frame to get it as well. Some of the, the four accessory packages that Harley-Davidson are offering from the factory are as follows. The Day Tripper package. Now this is to combine the classic bobber style, uh, there will be a 21 inch detachable sissy bar with pads so passenger can come along for the ride. Uh, it will also include passenger foot pegs and mounts forward foot controls, a black leather single-sided swim arm bag to hold all of your gear. So that's the Day Tripper custom package. The second package that is available for the soft tail standard is the Coast Custom Package. Now, this is sort of West Coast style. It's going to have a quarter fairing, um, a moto, moto bar handlebars, and a 5.5 inch tail riser, uh, two up seat, Passenger foot pegs, BMX style foot pegs from the Rugged 80 Grit Collection. Which I know nothing about, but you guys might know a whole lot more than I do. Now, package number three is the Touring Custom Package. This has a comfortable sundowner seat, two up passenger pegs, 14 inch light smoke quick release windshield, a classic black detachable saddlebags and a 14.5 inch detachable sissy bar with a backrest. Now the last of the packages 
is the Performance Custom Package. Now, essentially, this is the Harley Davidson Stage 2 kit for the 107 engine. So, you're getting the Stage 2 torque kit, you're getting a Screaming Eagle Pro Street Tuner, uh, you're going to get free flowing Screaming Eagle Heavy, heavy Breather Performance Air Cleaner, and Screaming Eagle Street Cannon Mufflers for a real deep bass exhaust sound. Uh, this is factory engineered for a performance upgrade and it does retain the Harley Davidson warranty which is absolutely essential when you're buying a twenty plus thousand dollar motorcycle. So that's my breakdown on the Softail standard. Now this bike isn't for everyone. I think Harley have done a good job by getting this out. I think this had been missing since they ended the Dyna series. People were using the Street Bob as a standard bike, admittedly, and they're doing essentially the same sort of thing. So now there is a standard bike, a little bit more affordable, customize it the way you want it, and turn it into your personalized Harley Davidson. Anyway, thanks for coming and checking out this video, guys. I know it wasn't long, and it was just a whole bunch of information read off a piece of paper, but Exciting news for Harley owners, especially those of you that like to customise, create show bikes, turn a bike into your own. Very exciting news. Anyway, thanks for watching guys. Throttle on, stay safe, and I'll see you on the